dude, I'm here looking at my truck. I, I don't know, man. Should I sell it? What do I do, man? Which truck? The Tundra? No, the 81 pickup. Oh my god, dude. I thought you got rid of that piece of shit already. <laughs> no, it's literally in front of me right now. Hey, bro, I'm with Jake, man. What's up, Jake? Uh, no, dude, I mean, honestly, ever since you brought that piece of shit to yeah. from, from wherever the hell we bought it from. Yeah. Like the whole game just like dissolved. That's true. Every day, like I wake up in the morning. Yeah. And like today's perfect, and then I remember that that thing exists. Yeah. And that's why I put it in my head, honestly. Really? Dude. Like, you know, I agree with you. Like, ever since this thing came in, like, Isaac disappeared. The whole three point slow gang just kind of went just downhill, man. John. Yo. Dude, should I should I get rid of this truck? What truck? The the old pickup, the, the you know the one that looks like garbage. Yeah, dude. Just junk it. Really? So it's been a while that I've given you guys an update on good old faithful over here, my '81 pickup. Last time you saw it was when we installed the lift kit at Jake's shop. And that's been a while. And it seems that you guys are really interested in the truck, so I wanna make an update, kinda of tell you guys what's gonna happen. So to recap, this is a 1981 Toyota pickup that I bought a while back. Still needs a lot of work, but she's pretty solid. She's a pretty solid truck. It's been sitting at my buddy's shop for a few months. Last time you guys saw it was when we put the lift kit on it. Well, after that, we had to take it out of Jake's shop and I brought it here and it started to get kind of depressing. I really was like, you know what, I'll just sell it. Even though it's the pickup that I've always wanted, I've always wanted the 81 with the round headlights. I thought, this is not a good time to have it. I just, you know, I have mortgage, I have bills to pay, I have a family, and I have two other money pits. I have this Tundra and then I have my other 94 pickup. And then I also have a Subaru Forester, the daily driver. I was like, no, I can't have another truck. But it's my dream truck. But the motor seized, it doesn't run. And just finding a motor itself is being really difficult. I couldn't find anything. So, so yeah, I was thinking of selling it. But a few weeks after having it here, I got a link from my good friend Mario and, and it was a link to a 22R in uh, Victoria or near Victoria, Texas. Really good shape, it was actually rebuilt. The guy was really nice. He showed me videos of it running. I, I bought it, I picked it up and uh, and I was really happy. So that's when everything kind of turned around. I thought, okay, I'm not selling anymore. I got the motor. So now we're gonna just swap the motor. We're gonna put the new one in. The only thing is that my friend, Carlos, he's, he owns a shop. He's been really busy and, and he helps me out with a lot of things, like a lot of things. So I can't push him to, to be like, hey, no, let's do it, let's do it, you know, it's a, whenever he's free. So if he can't get it done, Jacob, which you guys know is uh, the guy that does all the bumpers and he's Jonathan's brother, he's willing to take it in and we could do it at his shop. So the plans for it, it's gonna be a slow progress just because I don't have money to throw at this thing. You know, you guys know money pits can get expensive and this one is gonna be, it's gonna take some time, but my plans are just to get that motor in, get it running, get it dialed in really perfect, where everything's just running perfectly mechanically. I don't care of the aesthetics. I just want to be running good, to be safe, have seat seat belts, and that's about it. The paint, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Maybe down the road I'll paint it. But for now, I wanna leave it like this. I asked some of you guys online and most of y'all said keep it like that. I wanna get the bumper for it, but I wanna keep it as stock as possible. I don't even wanna change the headlights. I don't wanna, I wanna keep it original. So that's the plan on the truck. I wanna keep it as original as possible. I don't want it to have LED lights and this and that, no, it's gonna stay original. Down the road, yeah, maybe I'll paint it. Uh, but for now, I don't have the money for that. And to you, I kinda like the patina look to it, the, the really like beaten up look for it. It, it has, the truck has a really good uh, story and 
and I really look I really like the character. It has the truck has character, that's for sure. And like I said, a lot of that stuff, you know, takes money. So it's gonna be going slow because I don't have a lot of money to throw at this thing. Um, I, I I don't I don't have infinite wealth. By you guys watching my videos and liking them and commenting, that helps out my channel. And as long as the channel grows and I get views on it and stuff, then I get some ad revenue money and that will help me pay for it. I'm not selling it. So don't ask me how much. I'm not selling it. I was thinking of selling it. Now I'm not. And I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a fun, fun project and I just can't wait to get on the road. A lot of you guys seem to be really interested online about it. So I think it's smart for me to keep it as a business, from a business perspective. Not that the channel's a business, but I think of it that way is the fact that this thing could make a lot of videos so you guys can watch. And I think it's a cool project. Honestly, you don't see many of these around anymore. I haven't seen a four wheel drive 1981 Toyota pickup around this area ever. I know they're starting, they're starting to become hard to find and, and most of the time when you see them, they're pretty modified. I don't want this thing to be modified. The most I did on it was a lift kit just because I couldn't find the original leaf springs and shocks. Well, I mean not shocks, the leaf springs. That's why it has a lift kit, but I honestly wanted to keep it stock. So that's the plan for it. And this is not gonna be a rock crawler by any means. This is gonna be just an adventure truck, just a camping fun truck. It's never gonna go to the beach though. It's never gonna go to the beach, not this one. My Tundra and the other pickup, that's fine, but not that one. Actually, I had a pretty wild uh, plan for it. I might do this. The plan for the truck would be to store it somewhere out of state, like Utah or Nevada. Have it stored where I could just fly over there and just get in it and go. That would be something really cool. Because as you know, I live in Texas, there's not many places to go Ironically, this is a camping and overlanding and off-roading channel, but there's not many places down here to do that. And I would love to have a vehicle somewhere in another state where I could just get in it and go. So, anyways, just wanted to give you guys an update.